Quiet on set, please. Here we go. Hi, I'm Juno Temple, and this is my perfect ten. I really believe is that hotels should be shared. La Quinta, which is in Palm Desert, I was obsessed with dinosaurs when I was a little girl. If you haven't been to Palm Desert, they have an incredible collection of life-size dinosaurs. You can climb into their belly and buy fossils. The Portobello Hotel. You wouldn't necessarily know it's a hotel because it's on a strip of houses in Notting Hill that looks like one of those beautiful townhouses. And you go in and it's immediately this kind of beautiful blood red vibe. Big, heavy, old curtains. Each room is quite quirky and is its own character entirely. And you get a proper old school key. You know what, a mini hairbrush would be helpful. I've had to use a fork before in a hotel. It was just before Christmas last year. I took a really spontaneous hotel trip to the lodge Whitefish Lake. There were more taxidermy bears there than there were humans, <laughs> which was wild. Check-in area had this incredible like mahogany-looking desk front that looked so fancy. It looked like being in the Titanic, kind of, but also not because of the bears and all the Christmas trees. It felt like I was in America. Always have some cash on you and tip the people that help you out with getting your bags up to your room. I'm somebody that tends to overpack, so I arrive with, you know, six suitcases for a weekend. <laughs> My godfather, a brilliant interior designer called Paul Fortune, he actually designed the interior of the Sunset Tower Bar. He was somebody who taught me that in life you should appreciate the finest things in small doses. Whether that's a hotel room, whether that's broccoli, whether it's champagne, he was like, buy one of the best thing and enjoy every moment of it. I think that I've never been able to get good at is unpacking properly when I get into a hotel. It looks like I've been robbed most of the time. You find knickers in the microwave and shoes under the bed, absolute chaos. One of my greatest friends had been nominated for award and was put up in a hotel because the award ceremony was happening over Zoom. And she got given a beautiful room at the Rosewood and invited me to go and be with her. I was running a bit behind as per usual and I arrived into the hotel and within moments, boom, and the award goes to, I didn't know what to do so I sort of dropped and hid under her gown. Then I had to wait until it was appropriate <laughs> to pop out. The Madonna Inn. All the rooms are very themed. There's a caveman room where you've got a waterfall, rock cave shower. There's a lot of leopard print type things. It would cater to my absolute love of being different characters. I'm desperate to go there. Villa Casa, Casa Arena. It feels like it's very me where it's a little bit tacky and a little bit chic. I would like to get married there, actually, in a vintage gown, and I'd like to invite all my favorite people. I would want to serve pink champagne, dark chocolate mousse, and dance from when the sun went down to when the sun came up again. It would have to end in a bathtub with the love of my life. Magic. <laughs>